Good day to you. Good morning. Today I'm going to cover the INF 1511 October November 2019 um, exam question one the multiple choice. There's a few questions there and um, I'm going to just show the answers and also where I found the answers. Okay, I'm not going to show exactly where I'm just going to give you a reference to where you'll find them. All right, so let's have a look at the paper. So this is the, the paper in uh, question. It's 2019, um, October, November 2019. So the first question says, Comments in Python begin with A, and everyone that's done the Python course should know that it's a hash, okay? And the reason it's a hash, you'll find it on page 32 of the textbook. That's where the answer, where it'll tell you that the comments is a hash. What format code is used to display ASCII2 code? Um, the answer is percentage C. You'll find that answer on page 36 of the textbook. Okay. The function which returns the data type of an object is type. Okay. And that you'll find on page 45 of the textbook. All right. An example of an immutable sequence in Python is there's there's actually only two of them, and so the one is not shown here. The other one is strings. Okay, and that you'll find on page seventy-five of the textbook. The index value of the last element in a list is. And when you look at it, minus one is normal. This is for most programming languages. And you'll find this on page 90. Okay. Um, question F says, something is a special method that is automatically invoked right after a new instance of a class is created. And that is the init. Okay. And that you'll find on page 135 of the textbook. All right. Which file access mode option opens a file for reading and appends contents to the end of the file? That is answer one, which is A+. Plus, and the reason being, you'll find it on page 174 of your textbook. Now this was quite an interesting one. Um, what will the content of file snackorder.txt after the following code has been executed? And where it becomes tricky is because this looks like a normal list. So you would expect it to show up like this. But where the problem is, is this right lines. So um, I've, I've executed the code. Um, I've created the code. I'm using um, a code editor called Visual, uh, Visual Studio Code, not the standard uh, one. Okay. So here we've got our code, then it asks for a list, and then it writes the file, okay? So when I execute this code, it generates me a file, and when I go and have a look at the file, um, let me just see if I can find it here. I'll quickly open it up for you and show it. This is the code that comes up. And so as you can see, it's in one line. And so this is why I've chosen this answer of tea, coffee, espresso. Okay. The next question. A class that implements only the get method for an object is called. In other programming languages, they normally use a getter class. But uh, in INF 15.11, it's called a non-data descriptor. And that's specific to Python. And you'll find that answer on page 168. And with regards to H, this tea coffee espresso, you'll find the answer on page 175. So the next question here is, what is the output of print snack get T um, if the snack has this list? Now, I've also compiled this code, but using my Visual Studio code. And as you'll see here, it's I've created the code. I click on play over here, and you'll see there it shows me a number one. 
So this was, um, yeah, this is basically answering all these questions. You'll also find that answer on page 98 of your textbook. So I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching. And yeah, have a great day. Goodbye.